hello guys and welcome back to this video my name is destiny and i'm so happy to see you guys here once more so in the last video we went ahead and walked with the profile and the profile crate actually we walked to the profile crate and the last one so we'll be able to come over here and add a new profile then we could give it a name let's say um like a name like flourish franks and give a maturity level and we'll when we click on the create, as you can see, it automatically creates a new profile for the logged in user. So that's what we did in the last video. This one, we're going to go ahead and configure the watch view. So the watch view is simply going to help um, a user actually go to the movie list and um, choose a movie that they want. And if a movie is like, if it's assigned to their age limit or their maturity level, then they can view it. But if it's a movie for kids, then they can't view it. In fact, they won't be able to see movies that are for kids and kids won't be able to see movies that are for adults. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Let's just go ahead and continue. So back to our views, the PY, we want to come over here and just create some like this. So I'm going to copy that and down here, I'm going to paste and But this one is going to be, um, I think, let's just name it watch or we can name it movie list so let's just name it movie list just like that so we define get we we'll pass in all this now in here what you want to do is quite easy we're going to use a try catch for this one firstly we want to use a try catch and we want to define um, a variable profile so just pay close attention you understand what's going on so now we want to get um a profile of a particular user so how we're going to do that is say profile should be equal to the profile model dot objects dot get just like this. And I want to get UUID should be equal to profile underscore ID. So that means this profile underscore ID here, we need to add it in here too. So self request, let's add profile ID just like that. And I think that should be it. Okay. So projects okay this is not project this is profile profile dot objects dot get then we get in the profile of a particular user so to know if the user is a kid or if the user is an adult so that's why we did this over here profile dot objects dot get uuid should be profile id okay so after this the next thing we're going to do is simply go ahead and define the variable movies so variable movies this will be set to movie so before that we need to make sure that we are importing movie so um, from the models, import profile, import movie, just like that. I think we define that in the models.py. So as you can see, we have this movie over here. So in the views.py now, we import movie. So over here, we're going to say movie.objects.filter. So we don't want to just push out all the movies like that. We want to filter um, the, the movies by the age limit. And the age limit would be equal to profile dot h underscore limits so hopefully you understand what's going on here if you don't understand let me go ahead and explain okay so what we simply did over here is you remember that we defined this profile um variable over here that helps us get the profile of a particular user and you remember in the profile model over here we have this field called age limit take note of this age limit so with this now what we are doing is getting so what we are doing now is getting profile.objects.get the profile of a particular user. And now we define a new variable and we want to get all the movies. But we use this function over here that says filter instead of all. So if we use all, that means we just want to list out everything irrespective of um, um, the age or whoever that's trying to view it. But this time around, we want to filter it by age limit. So you remembered in the movie over here, Come over to the models.py in the movie we have this um this this one over here this variable age limits that has this age choices so we are filtering this age limit by the profile age limits hopefully you understand we are filtering this age limit by the profile age limits which means that if this age limit for the movie is equal to kid and the age limit for the profile is equal to kid then show them kid movies hopefully you understand I just hope you understand. So that's what we did over here. Age limit should be called to profile, this profile, which is this one over here, dot age limit, which is this one over here in the models.py. Okay, so that's pretty much how we filter it. Now, the next thing we are gonna do is simply go ahead and say, if profile is not in request, 
dot user dot profile dot all okay so we are checking if profile is not in the logged in user profile so what does that mean over here you see that we have praise baby cup and flourish so if um a profile that's called um let's say destiny is not in this place so hopefully you understand if a profile that's called destiny is not here that's what we want to do now so what do we want to do if a profile like that um is not there so what we want to do is quite easy we just want to return redirect to the profile list so that they can go ahead and create that type of profile hopefully you understand so profile dash list so if a profile that's destiny a profile name with destiny is not here then redirect them back to this page so they can be able to create a profile destiny so that's that's pretty much it now after this the next thing we should do um let's see okay we could just return render that's pretty much what we want to do over there we could just come over here and return render and let's okay we need to pass in this movie thing that means we need to copy context from there and we need to put it in here and just as usual we're going to copy movies put it over here movies and if you followed up from the last video you don't understand how the context work i tried explaining it there okay so with all this now i think that's pretty much what you want to do for this one now let's go ahead and write an accept so if so we did try over here and try and do all this so if it's tried to do all this but it didn't work out now what do we want to do we simply want to do profile dot does not exist so this is pretty much what we want to do then we're going to return redirect back to the same place so we're going to return redirect back to the profile list so they could be able to create a new profile so hopefully you guys understand what's going on now well let's create a new url so you remember that's called movie list let's see if it's actually movie list yeah that's it movie list now after movie list i'm just going to copy that and paste it down there now what we want to do is change this to watch then over here you remember we had that profile id stuff in the views.py so we're gonna say str should go to profile underscore id and you remember it's movie list so we're gonna come over here and say movie list dot as view then this one over here should be movie dash list okay so with this now let's head over to okay so let's see let's see let's see profile id watch movie list oh. okay let's go ahead and create the template so in this place we're gonna right click and click on new file then we're gonna click on let's say it's called movie list dot html let me copy that movie list dot html get back to the views and let's make sure we are added movie list dot html over there movie list dot html now i want to get rid of one of the htmls okay so now when we check our terminal it's working fine come over here and refresh now let's say we want to come over to let's see let's see um let's say we want to come over to watch slash this okay for now there's no profile like that so it brings us back to this place hopefully you understand what's going on now let's get back to our admin and let's try getting one of the profile um profile id so we're gonna see if it works so we want to get the profile of um baby cap and this is his uuid so i'm just gonna copy it and i'm gonna come back here log out and sign out so i'm gonna sign in as let's say i want to sign in as destiny okay this is unfortunate we don't have baby cap over here um okay karen let's say i want to get the one for karen I'm gonna log out come over to so i'm gonna come over to profiles and i'm gonna come over to karen and i'm simply gonna copy this then i'm gonna come over here and log out yes i want to log out now i want to log in as deskfix at gmail.com again okay so as you can see we have karen over here so when we come over to watch slash then we'll paste what we copied okay what do you notice it's working fine but it says custom user object has no attribute profiles so over here we need to get back here and if and add an s over here yeah that's it so now when we refresh let's see 
and we still need to refresh more okay as you can see it's working now what we need to do is um putting the movie list templates that we created in there so we need to come over to netflix clone come over here and we need to come over to um movie lists yeah should be movie list and we need to copy that okay so what we need to do is paste in the code that we copied now if we come over here and refresh we see all this but we need to make sure that we are fixing up some things over here so that it looks quite quite um nice and not ugly the way it is so what we need to do is get rid of this part over here and i'm gonna copy this and get rid of this okay so but this is gonna be end block now when we refresh what do you notice it's looking quite good okay so what we need to do is um now work with those places because this is where all the movies will be listed out so what we need to do is come over here and get rid of all this then we're just gonna leave one okay let's refresh this and see what we've got okay as you can see we've just got one movie over there now what we need to do is simply loop through um all the movies that we've got for that particular one so over here this is it now we need to just come down here and um loop through for movie in movies so let's see if that's what we named it as you can see we named it movies so let me close out some of this okay so for movie in movies now we need to end the for loop over here we're gonna say end for then what we simply want to do um for this one is simply say movie dot thumbnail i'm sure that's what i called it in the models so movie is called image rather it's called image movie dot image dot url um i'm not sure if this is gonna work let's see okay i actually knew this wasn't gonna work because we need to configure um, some basic things in the main urls.py so let's head over to the to the urls.py in the netflix project over here so there are, there is a couple things we need to configure over here or rather i could just copy it from one of the projects that i've done already let's come over to the main netflix clone come over here and we're going to come over to the settings.py sorry not the settings rather the urls.py and I'm going to copy this over here. So this is simply for locating where our media files are and all that. Then I'm going to copy this also. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So this should be working now. I just give it a couple of sec. It should detect all this. Okay. So now let's get back here and refresh and see what we've got. Okay. What do you notice now? We have two movies. Hopefully you understand. We have two movies that we added from the very very first video so let's come over here and open up a new incognito window and let's head back to the admin sign in and let's come over to movies so in movies what do you notice we have two movies luca and pope so that's what we have over here so let's say we want to add a new movie so if we want to add a new movie let's say we want to add a movie like let's say space jam space jam and let's say i want to get let's say i want to get the thumbnail space jam okay this is the thumbnail i'm just gonna copy one of this i think this this one should be good enough for it i'm gonna paste it there and let's say i want to upload it over here i'm gonna say this is space jam movie whatever then anybody can watch this it's a single movie and let's just add in that one and we're going to upload a what we just copied this is it over here then we're going to say all okay so now when we save this come over here and refresh what do you notice boom now we have a space jam movie and that's exactly what we wanted so now this movie would only be showed to um to everybody but if it's a kid this movie will not be shown to them so let me explain what i mean by that so let's get a kid movie for example let's say kid movies i want to just get one of the one of, one of a kid movie and let's see okay luca is actually a kid movie um let's look for something else let's say this yeah this is a more kiddish movie whatever i'm gonna paste that in there and i want to upload this kid movie now 
so i'm gonna come over to movies um no man that's not what i'm supposed to do so i'm gonna come over here and what's the name of this movie i don't even know mm, whatever let's just name it whatever uh let's just name it disney or something like that disney and let's say this this is a kid movie this is a kid movie and the type should be single adults and age limits should be kids then we're going to add this new file that we just downloaded this one and we're going to save so now when we come over here and refresh um we need to actually log out and log in with deskfix at gmail.com now we need to sign in at deskfix at gmail.com and now when we come over to one of this we are supposed to head over to the profile list so what we want to do is get let's get back to the profile list and just configure that immediately so that when we click on this it takes us to the movie page so in the profile list remember we created this over here so now let's make it to work now this is going to be url then this is going to be um what did i call it in the urls.py again let's see urls.py i called it movie list okay so I called it movie lists. Then back to the um, back to the profile list. I'm just gonna paste it in there. But make sure you call the name of the app, Netflix app before it. Then over here, we simply wanna pass in um, profile underscore ID should be equal to profile dot UUID, just like that. So now when we refresh. And if you hover, take notes, you just look down here, you will see that it now shows all the type of profiles that you've got. So when I click on this, we could see these three movies, but we can't see one because it's a kid movie. Now let's look for, we don't have any kid accounts over here. So let's say we wanna create a kid account. Let's say um, my baby, then the maturity level should be kids and we create profile. So my baby, now when we click on my baby, what do you notice? They have one movie because this movie is for kids. Now, hopefully you understood everything that's going on over here. Hopefully you understand my baby. So now I think that's pretty much what we want to be doing. Um, I think we should just round it up for this video. We, we listed out all the movies. In the next one, we're going to go ahead and work with um, the detail view so that when we click on a movie, we could see um, like everything about the movie and we could go ahead and watch them. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. For now, my love, peace out.